This is Gabby Guppy with Corn Events, continuing the exclusive investigation into the demise of Tristan Sonara. Let's gab! Castell and Lindis caught and interrogated Hector, determining that he and Grim Brightwood were innocent. For now. Citizens of Corinth, it appears I may not be the only one on the case, but rest assured I will scoop the scoop out from under them if I have to. The tense ceasefire broke when the deranged Herringon Mud tackled Trithemius off the boat in an attempted kidnapping. Mud was quickly apprehended and confessed that he was sent to take care of Trithemius with orders straight from Fablecho Umaji, Trithemius' brother. Could this sinister plot reside within our royal family? Meanwhile, I sent my assistant Gary. I'm not your assistant. Shh, I sent our cameraman Gary to tail Grim and Hector. While scouting the palace, Grim met a strange character from the mysterious Umbral Arcanium. Meanwhile, the innocent Hector stole a potion of water breathing. Back at the Corona Corrales, Lady Panya Coral Chasm summoned Lindis for a private meeting. I was unable to glean any details of their conversation. But as Lindis left the chambers, she appeared out of sorts, and not herself. Currently, I'm undercover at the prince's funeral festivities, keeping a keen eye on those five individuals. They have joined forces at this raucous party, filled with fireballs and frivolous party favors. And thank the gods I attended, the empress has just arrived. This is Gabby Guppy with Corn Events. Stay tuned. Good evening, everybody, and welcome <laughs> back to the Rivers of Else, presented by Yes Yay Roleplay. Oh, that's us. I'm Chris Saratsky, your story crafter, and we're going to introduce our players, starting with... Nicholas! And I will begin doing so in just a moment as I continue to wait. And my name is Nicholas Ticotti. I play Castel Jarie, the warlock with a, um, uh, with a very handsome Sword little, lock. little, what's, what were they called? Um, water genasi at their side? Yeah, uh-huh. That's me. Hi. Anyone who, anyone can jump in, really, the popcorn style. Hi, uh, <laughs> I'm the Grand Van like Camp. Um, I, uh, am your wizard, and I'm green like a lizard. And I'm playing as Grim Brightwood, Order of the Scribes Wizard. Hi, my name is Evan Michael Pierce. I'm playing as Mud, our uh, barbarian, small green fighting machine, baby. Never mind. So oh, no. oh, sorry. I thought. Okay. No, um, I just I was I had a question, but then I thought, and then I never mind. Okay. I'm Victoria, and that will make sense in post, or maybe to the viewers, or maybe never. I play Lindis. It'll make sense that your name is Victoria. That's what I was wondering yeah. about. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> they were so confused. Welcome to Evan's Conspiracy episode. Corner. <laughs> All the way to episode three. My name's Jim. I play Hector, your favorite mom. Beautiful. Thank you guys so much for those lovely introductions. You're welcome. Uh, speaking of introducing, I'd like to introduce our musical collaborator, Midnight Syndicate! <laughs> You realize you're out of frame right now. You, but you're also framed in our camera pretty in a cool way. <laughs> yes, and over the, yeah, it's like a third person, like over the shoulder shot. Yeah, I like that. Midnight Syndicate provides gothic symphonic soundtracks that will. Right <laughs> Midnight Syndicate provides gothic symphonic soundtracks to underscore your game nights and all sorts of fun adventures you may have. Speaking of music, you can check out all our music on Spotify as well, and the rest of Midnight Syndicate's music on Spotify or MidnightSyndicate.com. Mm. They have a great Christmas album, and we have a great Christmas campaign. You should listen and watch both. Absolutely. That's true. After you watch this one, of course. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And uh, while you watch them, uh, you can look through some uh, translucent uh, dice um, with uh, the very own Alindis dice, Right here. Uh, Name pending. Yes, yes. <laughs> All done by uh, my good buddy Zach Morris uh, from Dicely Done. It's dice done nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you to, so much. That I was incredible. I was going to get the car and then you took it away. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're so good at this, guys. Well, well. Without well, further, <laughs> well, stop well. it. Let's take it away and enjoy the rivers of else. Okay, one second. Yeah.
and we're back. So, previously on the Rivers of Els, we find ourselves at the party, the funeral party for Tristan Sunara. All the dignitaries, all our party members have finally congregated in yes. one spot. Yeah. It only took uh, one and a half episodes to do so. Oh. Uh, and you've all met uh, and have been acquainted with uh, a couple of members of House Umagi, of uh, Trithemius Castell's fiance, uh, as well as uh, their sister, uh, Chrysilla. Yeah. Uh, and also, you've all had some weird connection, most of you, with the third uh, sibling of the Umagis, Fable Echo. As all these little dis uh, disparate parts, I'm making up words, I swear. Uh, <laughs> like most of them feel real. Most so. of them feel real. Probably some of them are, and mm -hmm. I don't know if I've been using them correctly. That's how George Bush works, too. <laughs> really reached for that one. Sorry. Uh, Back to 2004. Yeah, we can cut yeah. that. The party no. is in full <laughs> uproar as Lady Panya has showered the crowd with a glorious display of a jackpot of gold. The crowd's going wild, cheering the Coral Chasm house as the party comes to a screeching halt upon <laughs> the appearance of the Empress Talora who had been away and has returned upon news of her son's death. She stands in the doorway, looking at you all. Nick, if you would like to show yes. artwork of her. Nick's like, oh, I didn't uh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> That one didn't seem as important. Yeah. Uh, the Empress Talora is tall, regal. She carries her trident. She um, is almost always wearing her armor. Uh, she has a crown so of coral. Uh, and she stands oh, at the doorway. Uh, the squire at her side uh, rushes up to, uh, to greet her uh, and announces, Announcing the Empress herself, the mighty Talora Sunara. I bow, I assume, with the rest of the, the party, the, uh, yes, the so audience. Many people uh, begin to genuflect. Uh, the Lady Panya does not. Whoa. Interesting. Why is she genuflecting? <laughs> um, and the fight? Empress <laughs> stares down at the the sea of revelry at her son's death, realizing that many people are in different spots of the grief grieving process. I welcome you all here at my palace. Thank you for celebrating the life of my dear son. So please continue. Long may his memory reign. And uh, she walks through the crowd, the crowd pa uh, party, as she goes towards the uh, throne, um, approaching Lady Panya, who's on a dais kind of in front of the throne, um, and stares kind of up at the Lady Panya. And you especially know the Lady Panya, you know the Lady Panya as well, to be a very calm, collected figure who does not... Uh, bow to many people. Uh, as the Empress stares at her, you uh, would see her fist tightening on the trident as the Lady Panya steps down. Ooh. And the uh, Empress turns to face the party um, on the throne, um, claps her hands as servants come and bring another round of drinks for everybody as she sits on her throne. Wow. Mm. Will you all give me one moment? I'll join you in a minute. I want to try to approach <coughs> the throne. Yeah, uh, you do so. Uh, the squire uh, approaches you. Uh, Lady Lindis, uh, is there something you wish to address with the Empress? Yes, just very quickly. Is it urgent? She needs a moment. It will help with that. Please keep it brief and keep it light. Keep it safe. Very well. Empress Delora presenting the Lady Lindis. Ah, Lindis, uh, it is a pleasure to see you. Delora, I just wanted to offer, since I know you couldn't be here for the funeral, if you'd like later, I can perform a ceremony for you. It is my job as a cleric. I would very much like that. Wonderful. Whenever you wish. Uh, for now, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Please, uh, enjoy. And I'll go back to the group. 
I have a spell for that. It's hey. called Slayer Bone. Good job, guys. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, that, that was good. That, that was good. Nice. I wanted to be inspiration. <gasps> wow. Wow. Very uh, diplomatic of you. Um, it's like I've so, back to uh, everyone yeah. else. Um, <laughs> you all had just about made plans to go up and slink away to Tristan's quarters. Yes, Shrink. sir. Trithemius uh, says, um, are you ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. My card says draw two cards. Uh, if you wish to do that right now, yeah. Sure. Haha, <laughs> that's fucking neat. It's like Uno, but with inspiration. Cool. <laughs> um, I'll let you take a yeah. moment to look at those. You're good. Keep going. Um, well, uh, Trithemius says, um, Chrysilla, will you stay at the party and, uh, we're, we're going to take care of some business if you would like to, um, keep everyone at bay looking for any of us. Mm. Chrysilla says, oh, joy, hmm, taking care of your messes, as usual. Hey, uh, Chrysilla. Yes? We should get a coffee sometime. Iced. Exactly. <laughs> that cold brew stuff goes right through me. <laughs> you just gotta prepare. Um, Trithemius leads you all towards um, yeah. uh, a back door in the. Um, there are several guards up through here. Uh, they recognize Trithemius, uh, allows you all to go, and you all go inside uh, the quarters. There's a guard on duty there. He says, Welcome. Um, hey. Hi. What's up? Are you here to. Please, invest? we need to be let into the room. I suppose that's all right. Uh, do you mind if I stay in the room? Of course. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just don't want. I just don't want to lose my job. Oh, that's understandable. Just doing your job. Uh, so, uh, as he like turns to like open the door, my eyes are gonna glow blue for a second, and um, a coating of this octag, uh, this translucent octagonal blue pattern mm -hmm. will coat me entirely, and then disappear as I cast mage armor on myself. Very cool. That's pretty sick. Okay. Very cool. Which lasts up to eight hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think we're gonna fight? Uh, I don't know if we're gonna fight. You gotta be ready. <laughs> That's what I was talking about! Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, I like now have some time like in this you. room, what would you like to do? The tray isn't still there. It's still there. It is? With the food on mm -hmm. it? Yeah, nothing's been touched in here. They've oh. kept it, so, for further investigations. Very cool. It's a nice, nice room! room. It, took, it took a lot of weight to get this to happen, so if you're going to do something, do it fast. One of my cards allows me to do this. Could I do that on the food? Mmm. Or will that break your camera? <laughs> do it, break, um, it. Break, break it. Break it. Break it. Shatter it. Break it, break it, break the game. Okay, I don't want to break your game. I, no, it's not going to break it. Actually. Okay. Do you want to do your thing I first? was just saying, while this is happening, can I try and go off to the corner with mud? Maybe. Sure. Okay. Um... Uh, uh, what would you? Um, it does take ten minutes, so if you want to start it, yeah, I'll, I'll get started. On yeah, that. cool. Uh, hand me the card, please. Yes, and we're doing this part in real time, so it will happen in ten minutes from Sounds now. Sounds good. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. What are you two? Do or skip ahead ten minutes if you don't. Want to do <laughs> Vod watchers. Uh, I'd say we're just like, like we're just looking like you know, like you know, if there's like a bookshelf or something, we're just mm -hmm. like looking, and I'm like, kind of. Talking low to, you know, mud like. So you, how do you know Fable Echo? Oh, F Fable Echo is my guy. You know, Fable Echo. Uh, pretty much like uh, they set up my fights. Uh, whenever, whenever I'm threshing, they uh, they give me work whenever I'm not threshing. So like sanitation stuff and cleaning. Um, and uh, you know, I kill bad dudes for him. <laughs> you know, like, uh, do you, do you, do you know any, anything about this? No, I mean, I would, I, I mean, I, he didn't like send me to kill the Tristan or anything. Like, that's not, that's not on my no, house. No, but he, he like, didn't say it. He didn't say anything. No, no. I, I remember, I tried to talk to him, actually, today. I went to his house. He wasn't even there. Did you, what, do you, did you, did you, do you, how do you know Fable Echo? I, I don't. I just, what are you guys I, talking about? Oh, we're talking just talking about Fable Echo. Cool. What about him? <laughs> you know, you remember how I was telling you he's like he sets up my fights. You know? So do you, do you just fight for him or Is Trithemius there? Yeah, Trithemius is there. What are we going to do about your brother? 
I must admit at the moment, I do not know what to do about him. You can't keep getting away with this. He can't keep getting away with that! With that. I'm like, let it out, let it out. <laughs> um, Primal age. I, I'm sure he has a good reason. I, I don't want to make excuses for him, but I... I've never known him to go against, uh... You? Oh my god. Is it on screen? <laughs> of course it is. Take it. Give me the trash. <laughs> Give me the trash. It's really funny. Give me the trash. I don't want to hear any more. What are we going to do about Fable Echo? What are we going to do about Jim? I don't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your the situation. we talk. <laughs> Anyways, no, he has never done anything against me. He has always been, after Tristan, my biggest supporter. Did the raid happen yet? I don't know. We were a little occupied this afternoon. I ordered it. I assume it is either in progress or will be in progress soon. I'm sorry, I don't mean to... I don't mean to harp. I'm just really afraid of losing you. I won't let anything happen. Not to anyone else I love. Try and trust me. Um, I do, I do, I do, I do. I, the way that I trust you. Okay, well, we need to get these people going. If they're not going to find anything, they don't need to be here. Yeah, I agree. In uh, the corner doing magic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, question. Uh, before we go anywhere else, mm -hmm. can I see anything in the ethereal realm in here? Mm hmm. Mm uh, hmm. You, um, you do actually. Yes. Um, cool. There, there is a in one of the like shadowy corners of the room. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, kind of just like a a pit in the ground, like a like a, like a, almost like. A, like a sewer drain, like a like a oh like God. a shower drain almost. It's a Gorthak. Whoa! I want to go look at it. Hole. He's looking at the corner. Hole. Is a hole? Yeah. He's All right. Hole. Hold on. I, I want to look. Hole. Like, is it like a like a like a vo like a void? Like, there's, it's a void space. Like, you can go Just down like, in. Uh, <clears throat> like this, and th like literally, it has like a grate across it. Oh. I will come look in a minute. I'm occupied. Yeah, it's like a it's like a grate. You guys see the oh. A great what? <laughs> Do you want to help? No, us like a great? like a great. You will get. I mean. <sighs> okay. We'll figure it out. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pull the vial out. Of uh, thresh. Don't do drugs, just give me a minute. You need the thresh to see it? Listen, it's been a while, but like, I'm cool, you know. Not everyone. Just a little bit. Oh just a little bit, <laughs> okay? Hold on a minute. Have some awareness. You're not going to do drugs in the palace. Yeah, I'm already doing drugs in the palace. I'm yeah. on them. Do you know how thresh works? I don't. It helps you see into the ethereal realm. I'm aware of thrushes. I can sometimes see into the ethereal realm without it. Just let me finish this spell. Well, hurry up, gosh. You can have some if you want either way. It only took me a minute to make a tiny hut. How much longer? <laughs> it's a ten minute spell. How long is it? I, I, I guess I'll save this. this. Time <laughs> it starts to finish up. And... I guess I'll save I'm just going to say it. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you are, like... Oh, oh I guess I should say what I did, because we didn't say Yeah. I used my card to cast Legend Lore. What? <laughs> what? What is that? Oh. For those who do not know what that means... It's uh, on the screen now. Yeah, but I can't see the editing that I'm going to do, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yes, Legend Lord, Legend Lord, Legend Lore is a very powerful divination spell mm -hmm. where you can divine the legends of an item. Basically, its entire history. I will say... Um, Ooh. It's a one specific object. So you... Cool. Choose a black cheese. The cheese. The cheese. Or is there any, like, with a bite out of them? Uh, the or... cheese has a bite out of it. Yeah, I'll do um, that then. Okay. Rip, rip, rip. Here's the thing about the spell. It does say, if the thing you named isn't of legendary importance, you gain no information. Oh, shit. <gasps> really? It does say that in That's the spell. stupid. Oh, shit. All right. Mm. So, uh... Just so you get nothing from this. Um, 
Sorry, sorry. Just so you, you don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> just to really rub it in, Victoria. Just to um, rub it in. You see the the life of this cheese. You see, right. there isn't a lot of significance, but it's just cheese. The brand's legendary. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, like, it, the spell kind of like the the goat that the cheese came from, like the milk that, <laughs> and like the milk, and then you see the process of the milk being. Uh, cultured into the cheese and being made and refined, uh, you kind of can see a little bit of the surroundings of this little like monastery where of all these animals um, helping make the cheese and all sorts of things, and it, it gets packaged up in a box, and but it's in the but like you are like what in do the these monks look like um, all sorts of uh, uh, woodland like creatures. Uh, uh, you see some rats, you see some some deer folk, you see some. Uh, some some little tiny like sparrow a um, creatures, a capybara. <laughs> yeah. um, but then it's like placed inside a box, and so the vision kind of goes dark. You feel like the whole journey of this cheese. You feel the box exchanging hands. Um, the, the light opens. The, <laughs> the light um, opens up from above, and um, you see this like mud-like creature pouring substances into it. Um, okay. Okay, that's helpful. And um, mm. there's some divination, or not divination, there's some um, arcane um, things ha uh, happening to it. And uh, you feel the cheese, the cheese is morphing and mutating. No. You feel the cheese. The goat would be so sad. It's the cheese touch. Um, mm. And then <laughs> the cheese <laughs> touch. It pops back up and it, it co continues going on a journey again uh, until it is opened up <laughs> and placed on a, on a, on a plate. Um, and you watch as the uh, you can see it, it being consumed by Tristan. Yeah. Do you feel like you're being consumed as well? No, I'm just <laughs> watching. Um, do I need to roll? You do need to roll. The cheese is like. So you're good. Cheese is juiced. Okay. <laughs> what? What is there to roll for? Nothing. 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 Um. So I open my eyes. Cheese. Okay. So I open my eyes. All right, it was definitely tampered with. I didn't get quite as much information as I hoped, but there was a mud creature. Mud, mud. That was mud. tampering with it. Mud. What? Oh. Mud. No, that's that's uh, not mud. You mud like, like made of mud and water and dirt. Primordial creature. Yeah, yes. the people. Uh, yeah. The people that delivered the um, uh, this kind of stuff that had threshed it to the uh, the salty fox were mud. Oh, well, they may be connected. Yeah, I talked to Does Babe's guy. Does relay all the information that you said? Do you? Uh, 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 that's up to... Like every detail, or do I not know every detail? No, cool. I've said it exactly what I've said. Okay. Wait, what, Fabe's guy? Who's Fabe's guy? No, Fabe Leco, yeah. Who Who did you see handling the cheese besides... Was it just yeah. the mud person? Um, The mud person, mm -hmm. and then it was morphed and mutated and then it was taken back out of the box and put on a plate who i i don't think i saw who put it on the plate uh you saw it was like tristan like tristan opened the box oh, it was, put it on a plate it was mm. tristan himself so did who made the cheese oh some monks it was tampered with f there was this capybara very cute. <laughs> mm, I love cheese. And these monks, I know what, they look, what do they look like? Uh, mostly <laughs> animal folk. Um, oh, you... actually, the specific brand, I think, uh, I think didn't, didn't I learn about kind of like who usually uh, delivers this stuff? Yeah, right? did I tell you? They're monks, the... yeah. yeah. I learned that. At the Raven Pond Monastery. The Raven Pond Monastery. Raven Pond. Raven Pond. Cool place. Hector? Yes, we make many things, chief of which is is the fromage. Do you know anything? As you look at Hector, you notice his robes are very similar to some of the robes. Do you know anything about uh, Thresh coming out of Raven Bond? No, there's no Thresh coming out of Raven Bond. Insight check. That is absurd. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> absurd. Insight check. Are you lying? Absurd. Hey, are you lying? Fuck me, dude. Fuck. 24. Okay, so Lindis can obviously... Um, are you telling the truth or not? Is there Thresh coming out of Raven Pond? Or if you know about Thresh coming out of Raven Pond. 
you claim you uh, didn't know anything yeah, about that's, it. Is that's that what, true? Yeah. Is the your statement of you don't know anything about it is that true or not? Oh, uh, I. It's like it's like the struggle towards the truth. Oh. So you yeah. know, okay. So you know that drugs can come from Raven Pond, but you are you don't know the details of that. The idea of drugs and Ra- like drugs and Raven Pond have anything having anything to do with each other is not the first I've ever heard of it. But the statement of like so so the drugs are coming from Raven Pond, I'm like, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? Like the idea that there were drugs in the food that came from Raven Pond is like, I'm like, oh no, really? And you're like, okay. Hector. Yes. You seem a little uneasy. Are you all right? I am. <sighs> I'm. I'm fine. Would you like to sit down and talk about it? So, just so we are clear, in the vision, what did you see about the fromage? I saw monks dressed. Quite a bit like you. Okay. Making the cheese. Yes, we make cheese. And then the cheese was presumably shipped, it was put in a box, okay. to a location. So, okay. Where primordial mud beings tampered with the cheese, turning it drugged. Okay, so. Does your cheese often get shipped to locations where tampering may happen? No, that is not an everyday occurrence. But it happens. I mean, that can happen literally anywhere, right? Why do you seem so reluctant to answer? Because I am being accused of these horrible things. Nobody has accused you of anything. You have accused my monastery of of treason, you have. We have? You have. Have we? You have said, oh, is this the slush normally find its way to the cheese from your monastery and into the mouths of the dead prince? <laughs> <laughs> I mean nothing but loyalty. I don't want to be here, but I must because, because it is my right as the dignitary of Raven Pond. Yeah! I have every right to be here just the same as you. I'm just trying to figure out what's happening. I'm gonna throw my hat on the ground mm. and and just start like shuffling my robes, you take my mask dressing? off. And as I'm pulling my hood back, you see this like dark brown hair on the top that's like kind of puffing up like this. And then as I'm pulling my hood back, you see these two ears come up. And I pull my mask off, and if you're like on the side of me, like the mask is coming off, but like the face keeps going. Oh my god, you're a bird. And <laughs> and you see that the hair keeps coming down onto the rest of the face as you see a a rat folk person. <laughs> you're a rat you're ratatouille! <laughs> <laughs> French? During that whole speech, um, someone had te- uh, cast detect thoughts on you. Okay. So I need you. What was it? What's kind of some surface thoughts going through your mind there? It's like what? What the fuck is going on? Like, why did I come to this stupid coronation election thing? Why couldn't I have just stayed back there? Why did I? Why did I, like? How how intricate are surface thoughts? Uh, not super intricate. If you want, wish to dig deeper, you would have to make a save. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. And I'll delve. Okay, mm-hmm. what's the save? How, how far away are you? Uh, I'm... Are you, like, across the room? Literally right behind you. You're, like... Are you, like, right next to me? Yeah. Okay, what's the save? It is a 17. Okay, but what stat? Wisdom. 12. I can't believe you're a rat. I love That's it. That's a 12. <laughs> All right. Give it to me. Okay. Uh, you know this is happening at this point, too, since I probed. Yes. You, you realize someone is in yeah. there. Emotional state, fear. Emotional state is fear. Um, afraid. 
why did I give the cheese to Munch? Like, I was just trying to be nice. I said no, this is fine for me. I said no, so I don't understand why this is happening to me. So while this is happening, you guys see as uh, I, from my cigarette, a just very thin line of blue smoke is going in your ear. That's fucking cool. cool. Hector here um, knows a mud person called Munch, uh, and he gave the cheese to them. <laughs> I know that guy! There was yeah. no, there, uh, Hector did not manipulate the cheese. Well, to be fair, I didn't see yeah. Hector manipulate it. It went straight from monastery to mud person to Tristan. <clears throat> Tristan, do we know him? Do we know this much? Munch is, uh... Yes, yeah, uh, Fable Echo's guy. Yes, mm -hmm. he's, uh, so his associate is an underling, if you will. He makes masters. <laughs> he's crazy. <laughs> from what I, uh, so, okay, so Munch was given the cheese. And then next we saw this cheese, it was killing the prince. I don't think it's the same cheese. I think it's from the same source, but the cheese I saw from the plate went in a That's box. That's true. You're right. You're right. I didn't see Hector interact with at least this cheese. Dad, could I see the cheese in my mind? Like through his memory. <laughs> Picture the cheese. Very in specific. Mind. Um, I don't know if it's like specifically this cheese. So I, I'm actually, I have keen mind. Yes. I, I will take out my, my tablet mm -hmm. and I will, like a video screen, I will see me looking at the cheese that is in this room right now. I will see it and then I will compare it to the other cheese. Mm -hmm. Are they the same? They're not the same. It's not the same uh, cheese, but like it's, you can tell it's from the same like maker. And, like, so this is from this, this is not the same cheese block. Your block did not kill the prince. Oh. <sighs> So I am not going to jail. <laughs> I mean, unless you do something else. <laughs> the night is still young. <clears throat> That's true. It's really not that bad, though, honestly. This is, um, what should we say? Um, a shit storm. Does, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. Does Fable have more Fable mud? Fable Echo? Yes. Does Fable Echo have more mud people? He employs quite a lot of uh, mud elementals. Right now, and I'm sorry, your brother is our biggest suspect. I can't see any other way around that. I will shift my detect thoughts to Trithemius. Mm -hmm. uh, the surface level. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have to recast it, or is it like... Nope, it's, I, mm. as long as I'm holding it. That's dope. Uh, Fable Echo, what, what, uh, what are you doing, brother? What have you gotten yourself mixed into this time? Mm. What is going on? I, I can't believe... What is... Like, there's a thousand thoughts going off at once. Uh, there's like a, like a, you get, get grasp like a fear of like, maybe I don't know him, like I thought I did, maybe, I, there's, um, senses of betrayal, uh, fear, like fear that he's like suddenly gone against everything and, um, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright. And it'll drop. It should be up by now. Mine. Yeah! You said you saw something in the ethereal plane, can you point out where to me? <laughs> yeah, come on over, uh, over here in the corner, it's like a... It's like a grate. It's like a drain. Like a, just like. I'll can you reach to, in it? I'll, I'll try to. Focus I was gonna try. See yeah. Into the uh, this one, you will have to make the perception check. Yeah, that's fair. And I would like to. I would like to see if I can take the grate off of the hole, if possible. Uh, yeah, strength check at disadvantage. I oh, didn't no. roll very good, so it's only a twelve. No, that's not nearly enough. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't. You can't see it. It's only sometimes. Uh, do you want some thresh? No. Okay. You want me to? I... Yeah, here. You can, I already have it. That's oh, the, right. Yeah, by all means, if you want some, go for it. Don't um, on me. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. That's all you need. <laughs> it's fun. Um, I feel the head rush. Did I get twelve? No. Twelve? No. Dang. Uh, it's almost like it's not quite material enough for you to even get a grip on. Yeah, to be fair, I only took a little tiny bit. I can't really, I can't get my hands on it. But I can see it. It's right there. See? Okay. Yeah, I, I will, I'll kind of like lean against them and be like, ah, ho, ho. Breathe into it. Breathe into it. Oh, it's been a while. Ah. Um, I'm also kind of drunk. Uh, yeah. When you uh, <laughs> reached into it to try and uh, pull it out, you coming up, like, there's like, almost like a tar-like, <laughs> sticky substance. Can we you, see you that? You can't see, see that. that? Do I see it? Yeah, you see it now. 
And you see the grate. This yeah, grate's eyes, disgusting. My my the blacks of my pupils shift into a diamond shape as this happens. That's neat. Mm. Yeah. I like that. My pupils are somehow even smaller than they usually are. I uh, yes, I see the grate. Um, do I see anything inside of it? Ugh. I'll uh, cast light. Light. Um, yeah. This is some so. Um, does light pierce magical darkness? No. no. Then it does not. You cannot see anything. All right. This is uh, I, this is magical darkness going down here. I yeah, know. there's definitely a lot of magic happening over here, guys. <laughs> this is wild. I do the sewers from the castle lead to to the undercurrent to the undercurrent and to Fabeleco's employ where he does the sanitation of the city. Yeah, we do. <laughs> you know it, guys. <laughs> Listen, I I have to apologize to you. I'm sorry. It's been a very tense time and I just wanted to make sure that this was going to get solved. <sighs> Well, I'm sorry that I had to peer into your mind. If the situation was as dire, I wouldn't have done it. But you really, really don't know how you who you could trust in the city. It's fine. I've been an outsider all my life. Mm. I didn't know you'd be a rat guy. Yeah, I like your whiskers. Did, did they help you balance? Surprising. Why right, do you I, cover your face? It is my way of life. I mean, there's not a lot of beast folk up here. Yeah, we're all... They don't do very well here. Perhaps to yeah. keep the uniform more often than perhaps I would have liked to avoid any dismay of the higher ups of society. Yeah, if you're not Squire Squin, you're getting weird looks all the time. Can I ask what you want? Yes, the water boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's a weirdo. Can I ask about your uh, monastery? Um, where, where you hail from? Like what the whole deal on the cheese monks are? Well, yes, I they live a simple life, making food and other confectionery. Something's going on downstairs. What? Downstairs. What? Uh, as Lindis points it out, if you all start to listen, there is a kind of like some noise going on downstairs. You hear some muffled screaming, uh, Whoa. Whoa. Okay. clattering. Well, we gotta run. We need to move. Yep, we need let's to go. Move. Uh, Trithemius is Chrysilla. Uh, it runs downstairs. You should go somewhere. Not my safe. girlfriend. That's <laughs> sister. What? His girl. My girlfriend. Oh. God. Uh, you take off down. Uh, uh, Trithemis takes off downstairs. I assume yep. the rest of you follow. Uh, you go downstairs, and I, the screaming is getting louder. Um, so you you uh, hear bounding like a like huge. Like, Whoa, whoa. Oh, um, oh man. Uh, What's going on? As screams, like, it's hard, like, at first it was hard to tell, like, are these screams of, like, delight? Because it's a party going on. Um, you hear shouting. Um, the, you guys are kind of, like, in some servants' quarters. It's, uh, you f- see the squire um, pulling the Empress Talora yeah. behind. Is like, get away! There's an attack, an attack on the castle! Uh, mm-hmm. As uh, he's like, Jesus. Keep the air safe. Trithemius, do not go that way. Come with me. And he grabs Trithemius and starts pulling him with the Empress. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bonus action manifest mind. I'm just going to get that going. Does the Empress look hurt at all? She doesn't look hurt. Great, then. Um, She looks more... Actually, the Empress looks annoyed that she can't... Like, she's being forced away to fight him because she's a warrior. What is going on? (laughs) That is... A, 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 a frog creature attacking my court, and I am being withheld from protecting my court. And the size. I am sorry, Your Highness, but it is imperative that we keep your safety. Well, Estelle, we gotta go. What does he? Yeah. What does he look like? I'm. I'm just going. I'm going to. The frog. Yeah. It's a frog. <laughs> it's a frog. I'll let you decide whether you can come. We're going to. Do oh, it. I'm coming. Let's go. Yeah. So you manifest mind as you guys are descending. Says, is there any prep that people would like to do? I'm gonna cast mage armor. Mage armor. Yeah. I'll yeah, allow so everyone one the, um, prep thing. Uh, the 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 crystal kind of separates from my uh, thing as and, uh, and smoky magical energy floats around me as uh, Liz is right by me. Mm-hmm. And you don't have to do a prep thing as well. I'm good. Yeah, I'm prepped. So you're helping, right? Oh, for sure. <laughs> There's a fight. I'm there. I. How close? Are we? Uh, you're like, I mean, like 30 feet down the I'm steps. I'm gonna hold my action for when Mud gets in the room. 
to cast Enlarge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's sick. Um, beautiful. Um, <laughs> you guys go down the steps, um, uh, swing open the door. Um, we'll determine who's first based on the initiative roll when we mm-hmm. come back from break. But you do see the cor- in the courtroom a giant frog hemoth beast bounding around the, the courtroom. Um, Shouldn't have showed you that many. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I can do. Um, guests are fleeing and f- uh, flying away. Um, and, and it's raking havoc. Uh, gold is being sh- like falling on the ground uh, mm-hmm. from the bubbles bursting of people trying to like, get their last bit. Some people are still like, wait, I haven't got my reward yet. Some people oh are gosh. not taking... There are people drunk who are like, this is fun, this is Stupid a Stupid nobles. Oh. Meanwhile, the frog <laughs> is eating the guests. Oh um, my god, spirited that's... away style. Uh, and in its hand is the Lady Panya. No! no! And that's where we're gonna go to break. Sick. Man, I got what do you mean, no? Her. Isn't she the bitchy one? I don't know, I don't want anyone to get eight. Yeah, this is gonna be fucked up. We now begin in a very different place and time. Instead of trudging through a dungeon, you're uh, dodging tons of people at the mall to get those neon leg warmers that you just gotta have. <laughs> Instead of pouring years of scholarly knowledge into a spell book, you spend months meticulously picking songs for a mixtape that says, This is who I am! <laughs> um, the pauldrons on your armor are now sharp shoulder pads that make a statement of your self-empowerment. That's right, baby. So I'm gonna be safe here, right? Um, yeah! Okay. That's that zero killer. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're the killer. <laughs> I'm just such an owl boy. <laughs> oh, wait, it's an owl boy. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. All right, you guys enter into the throne room of the Corona Corrales to see this display ahead of you. The giant frog hemoth monster is wreaking havoc on the on the room with Lady Panya in its grip. Uh, I said hand, but it's tentacle, really. You see um, the kobolds minis. These represent party guests who are still in the room uh, that the frog hemoth is... Um, sticking its tongue out and uh, sucking them up and eating them all. Like hors d'oeuvres? <laughs> yeah, like hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> so, first things first, I need everyone to roll initiative! Initiative! Um, initiative is an ability check, so those with exhaustion are at disadvantage. I, I got an at 20 and now it's a 14. It's okay, I rolled crap again. What did you roll? I rolled a 2 for 5. I got a 20. Oh. Is my disadvantage. Uh, Evan, I think you've passed your bad dice um, on to you. It's moved on. I think I just gave it all to you equally. You know, no, you no, all no. suffer my. We're real gonna bad give ones. it back to you in just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I like yep. it. Yep. Great fail. Uh, Shit. Great. It's okay. If uh, we it's all just do initiative. Bad. If we all do bad, this then we're because, st- like, we still have action economy. <laughs> this is because I don't have my dicely done dice yet. That's true. So, top of the round, we have mud. <laughs> okay. Uh, who has been enlarged? When you run in the room. <laughs> yeah, so once I start moving, I'm gonna yes, get. Once you get in there, I'm not casting it right here, so I held um, it for that. I will say where you guys are right now. There's a little bit of, like this is like a drop here because this is a door. So you uh-huh. have to go around and down or jump down. I'm jumping down, obviously. Great. How far is the drop? How far uh, is the drop? Uh, eight foot. Um, yeah, I wanted to. I want to jump down. I okay. Jump off. Do I need to do a roll for that? Um, honestly, no. I With am all big. your abilities and your yeah. Cool. So I've used five to get down. Then 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Is that right? Is that how much movement you have? Yes. Then yeah. Jump down. I just. Rabbit leap, poof, down off the top, and I just start rushing in. And as I'm rushing in, <laughs> I'm gonna rage. Roll your D8. <laughs> yeah. What does it look like when you rage? It's a one on one. my D8. Oh no! <laughs> Unfortunately, nothing happens. The quiet stillness of the void pulses in your ears. 
you experience only the normal effects of rage. Hey, that's so good. That's okay. So I am still, you see as he's running, and you see him hyping himself up, like starting to <laughs> like laugh maniacally and go crazy. You see the like the fur on the back of his neck start to rise up. His ears, like one of them's always cocked to the side, but then whenever he starts to rage, they both stick straight up. And you see his like, his spine like, and it like gets bigger, and his shoulders grow outwards. And uh, he just looks like, like he looks insane. He looks fucking psychotic now. And he just, he's, and, he, and then he laughs, like insane. And he's ready. Can you ready give us an insane, insane laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. <laughs> So, raging, and I'm ready to go. I'm basically, I've run to the middle, and I'm like staring him down. Can I try to intimidate him? Is that uh, something I can, I don't have an intimidate uh, Yeah, thing. honestly, yeah, you can You can use your action to intimidate. So go ahead and uh, make an intimidation check at disadvantage. Of course. Actually, I'll say since you are uh, have been enlarged, I'll go ahead and call it at advantage, so back to a straight one. Uh, <laughs> Damn. That's a nine. Okay. You're right, we are taking that back. The frog yeah. just uh, <laughs> looks at you and goes, That's sick. Uh, cool. After uh, your turn, uh, it is the party goer's turn. Uh, everyone's panicking. Someone roll a d4. Uh, two. Two. Uh, this one moves five this way. Roll a d4. Four. What? Uh, two, three, four. Uh, roll a d4. Someone roll a d4. Three. Four. Three. Um, one, two, three, four. Four. Uh, <laughs> stupidly runs towards the creature. Oh, thinking, oh man. I, I also see it. rolled a four. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four. Uh, one more. Uh, two. I also runs. Come on, man. Idiot. Like, and you, those party guests who run towards the frog, even like. Oh, wow, this must be part of the party! Oh, oh no! Uh, speaking of which, it's the Frog Hemoth's turn. No! Oh, don't eat Lady Panya. Uh, She's my cool. boss. So, um... Is Lady Panya, like, unconscious, or is she conscious? Uh, she is unconscious. She's kind of, like, ragged. She rag is? Yeah. Oh, crap. Ra but, like, not necessarily from, like, <laughs> dropping to zero, just kind of have fainted. Oh. Useless. First thing the frog's gonna do is it's going to make a bite attack. Oh. Um, Come on, I'm right here! Uh, it only has a five foot reach. Um, well, yeah, but he can fit that in his mouth. His whole mouth. Um, it's hungry and it wants to, so he's going to make an attack. He's not even cheating out to the camera. Uh, Motherfucker. That's a 17 to get that guy. Oh. Um, the... Is he wearing clay armor? No. <laughs> The fancy party. Uh, did he cool. use mage armor by chance? And I this party sure. guest is swallowed. Oh, oh yeah. no! Ew. If they are swallowed, are they dead? Are we to assume? Not yet. Whatever you do, don't hit its belly. Frog is going to move, uh, sees you approaching it, move <laughs> up here, and it's going to do um, two tentacle attacks towards you. No. Okay. All um, right. This freaking monster. Uh, does a 12 hit? Um, no. That's a nat 1. <laughs> uh, these tentacles <laughs> uh, try to, like, go towards you. you just um, quick steps away from him, just like, bow, bow. <laughs> as big as yours, too. <laughs> bow, I know, bow. so the room's like, <laughs> bow, bow. It's then going to use its tongue. Things can it do? Yeah, it's Buy me a drink first. Hey, we're level eight. You know, we kind of asked for this. We have, that's, we have... <laughs> that's true. Um, let's see here. The target has to make a strength throw. Um, Dang, girl, what that tongue do? It does not succeed, and so this party guest is pulled closer towards no. the frog. Oh, no. Yikes. Um, and it's like, like this huge slimy tongue yeah. pulls it and like drags this poor party guest across the floor and the tongue retracts, leaving a pool <laughs> of oh, party guest in their nice clothes. It's this like, um, uh, <laughs> this little like fox woman who just like has her like her best dress on. I just wanted the, I've got all, this is like her best clothes that oh, she like got all dressed up for. We can't let this lady die. She's uh, having her carry moment right now. Yeah. <laughs> After that is Castell. 
Okay, oh, well. Still cast some spell. <laughs> Alright, um, I, well, I, to be honest, I was going to drink that fireball potion, but now I can't do that because mm, do it. there's people in the stomach. But I'm not going to. It really does ruin things. It really does ruin things. I had um, a plan, and I don't know if I Yeah, can... well, us poor people had to drink our potions when we got to the party, so... Oh, yeah. Um, that's sad. Okay. We can't just, like, sidestep the rules. Like, I... Yeah, really. There are the rules. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try... Evard's Black Tentacles again. Okay. Uh, what is the range on that? So that's, like, a 20-foot square around, and I'm gonna do it around the beast. To okay. keep it still. Um, that will also probably get, uh, 20 foot square. Um, are you just casting it right on it? Yeah. You can, you can get it so it doesn't get mud. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but it will get this little guy back here. He's he in swallowed, her stomach. Yeah. For yeah. The, it's, yeah. But Lady Ponya is. Yeah, but she, like, she'll get in it. She's in its arms. She's yeah, not on it's, 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 yeah. She's already yeah, being yeah, tapped. Yeah. She's yeah. already. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cast that then. Cool. Uh, so it doesn't affect it until its turn. Wow. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Well, I've got I've got that going. Does Great. this count as entering it for the first time? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Um, and know. you are concentrating on that. Great. Uh, anything <laughs> really else? I am going to bonus action drink my potion. Uh, mud does a twenty-one hit you? Mud does yes. a twenty-one hit me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it does. Um, you take. You're raging, so if it's basic damage, you will take half. Yes. Okay. Seven piercing damage, so take three. And then you need to make a constitution saving throw. Alrighty. Oh, oh lord. You got that right? Um, that's a six. Six? Yeah. Um, very good. Um, that's a fail. Not. Um, so it's not very good. <laughs> it's not very good for the DM. Good for me. Don't you have the thing where it's like it's a dangerous effect that you can see? Wee. Is it the same thing? Does this apply? Oh, advantage on no. only on decks against oh, things that I can oh, see. This only is on a decks. poison okay. effect. Um, as a arrow shoots you in the side from this little froggy boy over here. Darn froggy Mother boy. Motherfucker. Um, 21 points of poison damage. Yeah. Do I take half of that, or is it because it's yeah. poison? It's, poison. It's, it's, uh, it's specific. Magic. Yeah, yes. that's crazy. Ow, that hurt me so bad. I'm really hurting right now. Ow. Ow. Um. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that picked that up, but that was a far away just... It's the air conditioner. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> you take more damage, because it is a sneak attack. Damn. Yo. Because you are within five feet of... It's a rogue frog. Yo. Well, and it was hidden. Could Six. you consider it a poison dart frog? And actually, it's it was at advantage, so Wait, I that's should... Funny. See, that was actually funny. That was Great. funny. That's crazy. That was good. It is oh a poison dart frog. Wow. I'm good. Uh, I'm back. Actually, you you take 20 like extra points of damage. Fuck you what guys. the? Hey, all right, sick. okay. Is Wait, so is it basic sick. piercing damage, though? Is that basic? It's sneak attack damage, so it doesn't that... have a damage type. Mm. Is it a magic weapon? Is it a magic blowgun? An MBG? Let me double oh my god. I can get anything in You're right, you're right. It is the same damage type. Cool, so uh, half, so t uh, 10. Okay. All right, I'll heal myself yeah. 10. Oh no, really I'm in so much well, trouble. Sure I'm thing. really, really scared. Mm -hmm. Am I poisoned yeah. now? Uh, you are not poisoned. It does not oh, have that good. effect. That's good. Uh, granted, poison gives you disadvantage on abilities. Yeah, yeah you just been yeah, yeah, which super you already poisoned. Yeah, like super disadvantage. Hat. <laughs> Great. Uh, next up That's is like Grim. Up. All right. So uh, I will. Can I? Can I see kind of uh, through here? Yeah. Past the drop. So I will, as a bonus action, send out uh, Liz's diamond, and uh, this should be the name of the band. Liz's diamond. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, she will go there, and uh, so I will. I will move here, and because it's my manifest mind, I can cast spells through it because I can see yes. and hear through it. Cool. So I will cast uh, well, Rolothim's Psychic Lance. Mm. That's a good. So one. this frog needs to make an intelligence saving throw. Great. I. Um, it is. Very so dumb. smart. <laughs> it actually went to community college. Negative one. Holy yes. shit! That's a fail. Yes. It, is, it is incapacitated. He can't take actions or reactions, I think. Yeah, that's, that's the spell that I used on Venator with mm -hmm. the flute. Yeah, mm -hmm. same thing. Uh, I have another D6. Because it also does 7D6 yeah. psychic Take damage. Yeah. Uh, 20 damage. Okay. Is incapacitated until the start of my next turn. Right. So, uh, do shit, guys. 
It also then has to make a constitution saving throw because it took 20 or more damage. It makes that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, it has plus nine to its con save. It starts, uh, as, as it takes the damage, and the stomach kind of starts to uh, like oh, gurgle. Wow. And, and keeps it all down. Ew. Oh, that's cool. oh, 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 We so almost got that person that's back, cool. though. Um, that will be my turn, though. Cool. And Great. Cower in the corner. Uh, Hector, you are up. Cool. How are you looking, rabbit man? Um, look fine. A little bruised. All right, then. Um, <laughs> who is this? Is this my frog guy? Do you recognize that as Lord Grumpus? Is he kind of cowering? He's behind cowering. Him? Okay. Oh, Lord um, Grumpus. all right. How do you, Hector, here to take care of this? Will you? That motherfucking poison dart frog really got me. I'm gonna awesome. see the poison dart guy, and I'm gonna I'm gonna run to this frog over here. So I'm gonna jump down and then. And then You're run gonna to jump this off one. the balcony. Yeah. Nice. That's you have still fall, so you take. I do. Damage. Oh, wow. I can jump from a lot higher than Monk this and take awesome. no damage. Okay. Okay. So it's five. Ten. <laughs> five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Forty-five. Thirty-five. What? Twenty-five. Thirty. And then Did I say that 30? would be 35, wouldn't 5, it? 10, 15, 20. Did I say 25, 40? Is that yeah. what I said? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to start over. <laughs> 5. <laughs> okay. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. You're speedy. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to... Out of curiosity, uh, if we took this out of diagonal, um, with nine, because uh, 45 would be 9 inches... So you could actually probably get closer, like to here. Get to there if yeah. you wanted. Okay. Um, I'll let you. Yeah, I'll. I'll I was just I'll, thinking. I was like, I wish we had a ruler. Oh yeah. yeah. Cool. After Hector, uh, Lord Grumpus uh, is not doing anything. He's like, help! There's a this creature. <laughs> yeah. Is he being truthful? Um, I'm gonna say for the purposes of this, it would take an action to uh, make insight checks because okay. mm. there's so much going on. Yeah. Uh, Lindis, bringing up the rear. Lindis! And you said Lady Panya's unconscious but looks unhurt? Yes. Okay. Useless. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's as far as I can go. So I am so sorry to the person inside the frog, but I'm going to try and cast Banishment wow. on the frog. Wow, okay. That's a charisma scene? Rip. It's a Go charisma ahead. scene. Rip. You're welcome. Seven. Um, yeah, I had to make a 16. Riz so. denied. Riz denied. Great. So, but I feel bad for the person in the frog. Um, Lady so Panya Lady shouldn't go. Lady Panya just does not go. Um, I will say that the person... It's, it's true, because it depends on how you want want to interpret the wording. They are still alive, so they don't... So they don't go. Yeah. I'm a savior. They, <laughs> go they do need to move, though, because if not, they're going to get sat on by it. No, it's banished. Yeah, but when it comes back. For a it minute. It comes back? Yes. Yes. Um, because it is still native to this plane. Yes. Well, it's gone for now. Well, we got time. We got a few. Yeah, yeah we, we, can, we can okay. move and play. Also, Sorry. there's these... This motherfucker here. Yo. Yeah, so I stand over there. You watch as the red swirls around and shoots towards the frog. And as it hits, it kind of envelops the frog and he is gone. And there's uh, an emotional burst of relief. All right. Uh, Mud, what you doing, buddy? Mud, getting ready to ramp up to punch this dude in the face. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> and I think before anything, he turns around and looks over his shoulder at you. And just like, like, like snarling and like slobbering, like. He'll be back in a minute. <laughs> so, I decide to turn my anger towards not the person who took my main enemy, but towards the one who decided, you know what? I'm going to attack the 17 foot tall being. So I'm gonna come over to this guy. I'm gonna pull out my very large warhammer. Um, I'm going to I'm just gonna fucking. Bring it down, and I want to uh, attack, and I want to have, I want to cast Eruptive Smite. Are you multi-classed? This is just my class, baby. Oh my fuck. Why would, would you, class? why would you give a Barbarian a Smite? That is not, that is dirty. So I rolled a uh, 17, it's plus, plus nine. nine. So yeah, I got it. So I got him, 
Um, I want to come down once, and I want to 1d8 plus 6. Okay. okay. 13. Um, and I want to, I, yeah, I want to do Eruptive Smite on him after I bring that bad boy down. That's crazy. Um, which is 1d8 of force damage. You're be obliterated. I know. It was an 8. Thank you. total f- between both the regular and the, and the smite. Yes. 21? Okay. Mm-hmm. 21. 21. Hammer. Down! And you, and you put a d4 on your damage, too. Oh. That's right. Add a d4. What? Wait, what? From uh, being enlarged. Large. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Plus four. Plus, wow. That's oh, 25. Oh, you're rolling so 20. good this game. You're I just, 24. Hammer above. 25. And I just, like, <laughs> like, I, like, I see a bug. Like, I got a fly swatter, and I see a little bug. And it's bring the hammer down. So that's first attack. That's first attack. Yeah. Is he dead? I want no. to, uh... Spice-wise, I want to keep the hammer down and grind him into the floor. Um, that's 19. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Cool, so that's 1d8 plus 6. That's 8 total, um, plus 4. 10. So, 30 damage total. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And plus 2 because of rage. That's true. So- so that's another four. So that's another together. four. Yeah. Another four on top of that. Oh yep. My God. Yep. <laughs> Holy fuck. Barbarians are crazy. Barbarians um, are crazy. Yeah, so I imagine you like you smash him down. His like eyes kind of bulge out. Uh, his tongue like whoa, and it smears across the floor. Uh, he's still up. Surprisingly, he's a pretty hardy fellow. Wowie. Um, he's wowie. Squishy. He's squishy. Yeah. Wowie. Um. Cool. Wow, that dude! Was a fucking onslaught. That, just, was, that yeah. was amazing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the frog hemoth uh, is gone for one round. Cool. Uh, cast out. I'm just gonna hold my action because there's nothing to, to yes. do. Yes. Uh, you also still have Ivard's. Yeah. Up. So the, they didn't fall into it, did they? They actually would have. Yes. So oh. um, I'm gonna have to actually make. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna have to take it. Can I, like, it's when they enter it for the first time, right? Can I not manipulate or the tentacles the to, like... Yeah. Well, because, I mean, like, if they if they appear into it, is does that count when they're affected by it? Um, I actually skipped their turn. Yeah, sorry. Before, uh, after Mud went, they would have then taken the damage for oh, it. Yikes. She's gonna die. I'm on it. <laughs> um, 3d6 bludgeoning. So that's 12. Um, the party goes. Uh, <gasps> is, uh, uh, is like crushed within the tentacles. Ooh, that's not gonna look good for the election. Okay, no, well, no, it is not. Uh, How's Panya doing? Uh, I mean, Panya's like took damage, but is is fine. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta drop I it. Like, oh so. my god. Sorry. Mm. Uh, you are no longer concentrating though, so you can remove that. You still have like your action and what not to do. Okay. Well, no, actually, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm sorry. I'm gonna cast Eldritch Blast at this this buddy over okay, here. Okay, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Ah! Take him down. I don't like <laughs> combat. Uh, okay. Well, does a nine hit? Uh, no, it does not. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Does a I mean does a seventeen hit? A seventeen does hit. Woo! Yeah, kill him. Eleven damage. Eleven damage. There we yeah. go. Force damage. All right. Cool. Um. After Castell, it is the frog's assassin, the poison dart frog's turn. Uh, he's now cornered. Um, he's a little upset now that he's been had and did not expect a giant hulking rabbit to come after him like this. Uh, he is going to uh, pull out um, his little dagger. Uh, well, actually, no, it's a short sword. Uh, and he's going to make an attack against both of you. Ooh. Um, against... Okay. Okay. <laughs> against Mud, it is a... Not good. You know, when I packed that miniature, I didn't think we'd be fighting him. So that's only a 12 to hit Mud. Nope. Mm. Against Hector. Oh, that's cocked. Oh, very good. That's a 25. That sure does hit. Great. Yeah. Make a con save. <laughs> that is an 8. Dude. I'm so... so- okay. You this take uh, it's okay, I'll just nine points of piercing damage, okay, as well as seventy-six poison. Seventy-six poison. Wow. Seventy-six. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of poison. Uh, 10, 20, 25, 27, 28 points of poison okay. damage. 
damage. Let's do it. Wow. Okay, okay. That is cool. And then he is going to run away. Uh, You both get attacks of opportunity. Oh, yeah. Sick. Definitely. He's so cute. Why is he gonna be evil? That's uh, 17. Hits. Nice. Oh, man. I just rolled a five. I don't think there's any way that I'm gonna get this guy. So as he's running away, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, like, like spin around and do like a sweeping kick. Ooh, yeah. That's really cool. And that's a six, so that's yeah. ten. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, how hurt is he looking? Um, I mean, he's taking a lot of damage, but he's still up and going pretty pretty good. Okay. I'm going to bonus action move Liz over. And uh, I think this is just perfect enough, and I will lightning bolt him through Liz. Yeah. Okay. And he's make um, a, uh, a dexterity save. That yeah. is a distance attack right there. It's 100 feet. I yeah. love it. <laughs> and it will not hit uh, that. Yeah. Ooh, that's a 17 plus stuff. Have it. Yeah. So uh, it will do half damage, though. Okay. Okay, still good. Still good. 86, I believe. Uh, 27 halved. All right, now it's officially bloodied. Um, Castell, you can see me like as I'm casting these spells. Um, like I, I, I go to like focus it, and it's almost like I'm gonna cast it like right in front of me as like lightning licks off two fingers, and uh, then just like this little portal that's uh, the same <laughs> like the same like diamond size just <laughs> goes through and then through the other side. Uh, that's cool. my turn. <laughs> yeah, Hector. Great. Um, damn. I would like to. So I'm gonna run after the frog person. So. I, 30. Uh, You're in the rat trap now. I'm gonna make an attack. Um, so I'm going to uh, just I'm gonna I'm gonna attack him. I'm gonna like go for a, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. punch. Oh, yes. Actually, it's more less like a punch, more like a like a palm. Oh yeah. yes, oh, please, yeah. oh, baby, Master Splinter. They rolled for so long. Nineteen. <laughs> he 19 is definitely yes yes. 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 Um, okay. Well, that's five uh, bludgeoning damage. Uh, then I'm gonna attack again. Okay. Um, that's a 22. One, yes. set, one set of dice. That's all you got. That's all you need. That's <gasps> 10 bludgeoning damage. Shh, fuck yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. It's looking real bad right now. It's great. One, two, and two, then two. I'm going to bonus action flurry of blows. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And this time, so so I I want it to be like I ran up and I went like like you know punch and then like a palm strike up and then I uh, I would like to uh, like. Do like spin around and kick him in the chest. Ooh, okay. Do you have a tail? Yeah. Let's see. That's uh, 15. That just hits. Okay. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Great. Ah. Okay. Murder this mother. That's murder. 10 bludgeoning damage. We're at 20. We're at 25. So far, he's 25 yeah. points of damage from you. All right. And you have one more I do have one more. I'm uh, I'm gonna kick him. And just like like spin around, and like kick him in the face, so he goes away. And I'm gonna like spit blood out of my mouth, and I'm gonna um, put my hand like back behind my neck, and I'm gonna use my last uh, blow, my last flurry of blows, and mm. and heal myself. That's cool. So you can attack four times. Yes. Yeah. If that's expen- if it expends a key point again. Great. That's so cool. Great. All right. Uh, damn. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, so I heal myself. I heal myself for for five. Cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, great. After uh, Hector, Lord Grumpus is like, oh, yes, you've almost got them. Oh, I hope the big one doesn't come back. <laughs> he is gonna be so I would retroactively like like hearing that. I just want to like think back to all the shit I did. But instead of the frog assassin, it's Grumpus that I did everything to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're doing this. You see Grumpus. <laughs> exactly, it's like a flashback. It's like, uh, uh, Lucas, it's your turn. Okay, That's I'm funny. going to move. Oh, I get to stand. Look how cute my skirt is. Anyway, <laughs> like daydream about it. Like, is is the frog going to come back in the exact same 25. spot? Yes. Mm-hmm. We need to get those people out of the way. Thirty. Mm-hmm. That's as far as I can go. Oh, you're perfect! You're perfect! I will, will cast... <laughs> you're Every perfect, aspect. you're beautiful. Listen. Uh, <laughs> there is Listen. a pure paragon. Hector has 
capital W is. Wait, wait. Anyway. Anyway. So <laughs> anyway. I so I will cast mass healing word. Nice. Um. So it will. I'll do it on you. Oh. I'll do it on Lady Panya. I'll do it on the dead guest. Mm -hmm. I'll do it on you. I've got two more, but nobody else is hurt. Hey, I'm all right. Spoon. That's 11 points of healing. <laughs> for, awesome. For Crazy. Beautiful. That's uh, yeah, Lady Panya on that wakes up and the, the party guest, uh, this poor uh, Triton man is like, oh, what, what is this? So the, yeah, the oh. magic goes out. Oh. It kind of spirals out to each of you. Mm -hmm. There's an emotional feeling of warmth. And I look at Lady Panya and the guest and go, run! <laughs> uh, cool. Roll a d20. Yep. That was a six. We're still good. <sighs> what is going to happen? Are you okay. Gonna You're going to turn into a star? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, um, mud! Fuck this little froggy up. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Muddy Buddy. Muddy Buddy is going to move. That was, I can... Yeah, I'm good. Um... Move it up. You can knock that guy over. I'm just gonna. No! Ah, oh my goodness! I'm just gonna take. I'm just gonna approach him, and I'm just gonna. Instead of swinging down, I'm gonna swing from below. Ooh. So I'm gonna give him a little uppercut. Yeah. With, okay. with my with my old war hammer. Sure you can. Has oh. a nat twenty. Man, I think I may have. I think I may have. Yeah, 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 yeah. You hit him. All right, so uh, I'll do. I want to do it two-handed. That feels good to me. Just yeah. take it. And yeah, I feel like you'd be doing from below. So it's a d10 then. Yeah, one uh, d10 plus a d10, six. A d4 and yeah. Eighteen right. damage. And then have you added any of the modifiers? Eighteen yet? plus six plus two. Eighteen plus six plus. Two. How would you like to do this? <laughs> okay. Okay. God, okay. You, you golf swing. I golf. So yeah, yeah, it's kind of like four. <laughs> Boo! I uh, it's like the uh, I think what I it is is it's like. He takes it and he, he bashes the flat end of the axe against him and just sends him sailing across the room, uh, I think, into the back wall. Ah! <laughs> you do so. Can we get a slow motion of that? Into the back. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. So, um, there is no current threats right now, so we can leave initiative order for the moment. There's no current threat? There is no current no threat. No current threat. My uh, rage will be dropped by the time the guy comes back anyway. I'm so sorry. So I'm just gonna drop my rage. So the think I will be back in less than a minute. I'm gonna like go up and 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 uh, like pat him on the back and be like, "You did well, my friend." <laughs> and heal mud with another key point. Mm. Oh, cool! Thank and, you. And this is what I forgot to do. As as I'm healing you, um, you don't really see anything. You kind of see like this, like like kind of blank it's not like a color or anything it's almost like you know it's like there should be a color there it's like more like a vibration and then suddenly you mm. just start smelling something and you start smelling this like this like warm sort of scented mm. like almost like melty sort of I mean, do I feel like cheese right cheese now? I'm coming feeling... out of the oven, like sitting on the Ooh. windowsill. <laughs> I just feel really warm Is and this hungry. Character just cheese. <laughs> cheese ratman. Was cheese your theme? Cheese. So yeah. So uh, so so you just you you smell that and you you sort of like you start that. feeling warm inside. That's so Haven't good. You, like you've just eaten like some brie or something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh my cool. god. Is that, is that a healing a thing, or am I yes, just feeling you, good? You, you heal 1d6 plus Did four. these people move out of the way? Cool. The uh, so there's Thanks. enough time where they can all... That's a, yeah. an eight. That's an all eight. the rest and of the party gets clear. Do you roll the d6? Yes. Nine. Nice. Woo! Cool. Nine. Thank you. So, uh, I'll say all the party guests will clear. Um, I'll kind of scoop up Lady Panya and like push her. Sure. Like, and I'm going. just gonna I'm just gonna remind everybody I like I'm I'm gonna get fireball ready. Can I do that while Yeah, you can yeah. So, like uh, get out of the way. Here's what's gonna happen. If I were uh, someone could clear the board of all of the uh, the party goers. I'm gonna get up like right And then you can one. all adjust yourselves to where you would can like you push to be when the okay. frog hemoth appears. I will I will stay yeah. as my as I I will stay out here. I do I do not want that thing seeing me. Mm -hmm. Um I'll stay enlarge like enlarge will drop. Because it only lasts a minute. That's right. But, uh, what what's the range for this fireball? Like, what kind of fireball do I get? It's a twenty. It's a twenty foot radius. Yeah. So. Oh, so maybe I should back up. <laughs> yes, where where was that. the monster? Was it's it the here? whole circle? Wait, yeah. do I need to be up wow. close to do it here, or can I still be back here? 
You could be like a hundred feet it has away. A, it has a wide range. Yeah, so then I'm gonna be back here still. Cool. Yeah, so you can cast it. So like, if mud wants to be right on it, like right here. Yeah. You can cast it so just the edge of it will get it Let's and not that. mud. Uh, just be safe. Just so, so the rounds leading up to uh, it up. coming back, I will cast enlarge on you again. Okay. And I'll make you big again. Because uh, <laughs> I have the spell slots for it. This is great. Uh, oh, wait, right everyone, there. place yourselves. I, um, I think you're going to be in the fireball. Yeah, okay. I know. I want to wait in the fireball. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. And I want to actually be like. Why do you want to be in the fireball? I don't want to be in the fireball. He Not does. Not you, Jim. I want to do cool things. Okay. Um, reminder: This will take everyone's reaction. So after the frog appears, you will not have a reaction for the next round. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, and also, once you're in position, you can also drop yeah, it. Yeah, I can drop it as soon as we're ready. Cool. Uh, and as soon as you're ready, take the ring off. Look. The frog hemoth returns. <laughs> All hell breaks loose, and that's where we're going to end for today. Oh. 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 Because God. we are getting to that time. Damn. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm um, going gonna, gonna to actually... And the uh, frog is angry uh, and geez. takes a shit ton of damage. <laughs> so, wow. thanks for joining us. Tune in next week to see if they've conquered this amphibious atrocity. <laughs> and remember to always say... Yes! yes yay! yay! Good night. Uh, I'm actually gonna write down what we're gonna do.